watch your things outside. Where are you from? New York. How far is that? Designed to be lightweight, compact. You got a really small head here. You got um, got a red a red light, and then you also have your walk light, and then you got your main spot, and then you also have a green laser. So it's uh, designed to be lightweight and very compact. It's only uh, four, um, or 16 ounces on the walk light, or 16 ounces. As the, uh, with the cap, so it comes either in the bump cap or the soft cap, you can use either one. And it's a uh, yeah, great, great lightweight light for the guys that, that want a lightweight light. And yeah, great, great bright spot. Um, your walk light red, um, do yeah, everything you need uh, for uh, for your hunt and trying to try to tune in the tree. Uh, Yesterday, I saw him today. I'm sure I'll run into you. Yeah, just this afternoon. Automotes is always one of my favorite hunts of the year. Uh, it's a local boy, so it's, uh, it's nice to be able to live close and be able to come here. It's pretty good convenience. Uh, we've hunted the slams all week. Uh, we had success uh, Wednesday night with my a puff out of cracker. Coming to these hunts, it's, it's just a lot of people. I mean, it's meeting up with a lot of friends, and it's a good time. Yeah. I mean, I like it. That's good. I mean, I think it, I think they're having record numbers here this year. It looks like there's a lot of people here. It was a lot more than last year. We had 98 dogs in Liberty. Uh, that's a lot. That was their record. We had 123 Wednesday night, 165 Thursday night. I think they put 511 in the woods here last night. We're gonna try our luck with the night chance. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you, Clay. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Got a pickup truck with a dog box Slam four pounds that don't know when to stop It's a little male, ran on swing It's quick on its feet, hell on game Got a little chip in the back of the pack She ain't real fast, but she's true on the track She's got to drive, and she's got the guts And that's why she's gonna run with us It's in the blood in your back it's
Find a good old dog is like striking gold One of a kind that can't be sold I'm hunting around is what it's all about Tell us a little bit about your weekend here at Automote. Well, I mean, we haven't done outstanding, but we got a cast win last night. I mean, the dog just wasn't cooperating. We did a lot of walking. We scored on three coon, but it just wasn't enough to advance to the top 16. Yeah. So I'm going to try my luck tonight in the night champion. See what happens. What dog are you hunting? Actually, I sold Lefty, and uh, they actually brought him up for me to hunt in this. Okay. Tonight I went and got him collected, and uh, they said I could hunt him tonight because he's uh, in contention for the Triple Crown. So if he gets a cast win tonight, then I should put him in the lead. Oh, so, that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> yeah. So, like I said, I'm just glad I get to hunt him after I'd sold him a yeah. few more times. That's all we I'm gonna take out some newbie pup. We've been there even. She might be a little green yet. <laughs> all the other girls are in heat. Uh, we're getting ready to breed. We're gonna breed Sadie when we get back home tonight. What are you breeding? Uh, poncho. poncho. And we're gonna breed left either. Hard to beat. Okay. Tomorrow after this hunt. Be some good pup there. I'm yeah. sure. We hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything else you want to add? It's been a pretty good time. A lot of people down here. It's real busy. It's the biggest slam around a month. Yeah. yeah it's, I can tell just walking around, there's a lot more people. There's here. a lot more vendors. That you yeah. Have. A lot of a lot new, more stuff. Yeah. It's, a lot more yeah. Stuff down here. it's been a good time down here. A lot of people. Good talk to you. If you ain't ever been down here, you probably ought to give it a shot. Yeah. I just figured Ed would be smiling, at least he won his cast. Yeah. He only needs one more to be Grand Knight too. <laughs> you gotta remind me because I'm How you been? Been. <laughs> yeah. So I'm here with Kevin. You just wanna tell us a little bit about your experience at Automotive this year? Uh, it's been a pretty good week. Good turnout. Uh, got in uh, the dual champions on my cast uh, night before last. Uh, my wife showed him didn't do no good. Then got in last night. Good. Top 16. Yeah. Look good. Uh, end up with 975. Got to hunt some Jeez. by myself. But, uh, Pretty good score though. Yeah. Yeah, got a tree three after they all quit by myself, so it helped. But uh, dog looked good. Couldn't, couldn't ask him much better. Here with Ben Sheets at Autumn Oaks. You want to just tell us a little bit about your experience so far this year? Oh, it's been a great year. Um, last year was the first year here. You know, I, I think you were one of the first people I talked to here last year, and yeah. uh, I was just overwhelmed. And so I come back this year, had a booth, and uh, it's been great. And definitely more people, definitely a lot more vendors. Um, I think, you know, COVID kind of killed events, and we're slowly getting back. And from everything I've heard from other people, too, it's it's getting there. Yeah, so, it's getting a lot better. Yeah, Definitely a lot more people here than there's been in previous years, that's yeah. for sure. The weather helps. It's oh, starting yeah. to get a little hot now, but it, Earlier in the week, been, it was beautiful. It's been really good. Actually, the one day uh, it was actually chilly. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring a sweatshirt because last year I was sweating yeah. death. So this year I didn't bring a sweatshirt. The other morning, me and my dad were out here like, it's cold out here. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, this is gonna come out afterwards, but uh, if people don't like podcasts. You know, check out Tree Talking Time. And, you know, we actually we just recorded a podcast, the whole group of us, and we'll launch here. I don't know, maybe before or after this, I have no idea. But, somewhere uh, in there. Somewhere, and uh, I think it's it's gonna be a good one. Yeah. So. Thank you. Man. Thank you for talking to me and doing this. Staying cool here. Yeah, yeah, it's been nice up here. Yeah. We watch your YouTube. I watch your YouTube all the time. <laughs> yeah. David, like, nice, nice to meet you. Me. Yeah. I tell my, hey Mike. Hey Jeremy. I'm coming to hike a hike. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, that's my dad Wayne right there. Wayne Lawson. Yeah. Nice. 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 Glad to see all them videos. Yeah. Oh, I, I've nice watched all of them. I need one of them. We got to sell them, I guess. <laughs> we got shirts. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
They said they hunted over 500 dogs last night. That's a blessing for this sport. I had some real good guides, some real good people. Uh, dog looked good. That's all you can ask for. And actually, I didn't make an error, but look out tonight, right? <laughs> Every night's a new night, right? Yeah. This man come up and hunted with me and he says, Kurt, how long are we going to hunt? I said, the daylight. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, and it was daylight. Oh, it yeah. Was. We had fun, though, didn't we? It was a good time. Yes, yeah. it was. But no, I think this is a real good hunt. Uh, Alan asked me about it and I said, to win this would be like winning the world to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I'm glad the good Lord gave me what he's given me to get here. You know what I mean? My wife always told me, Kurt, don't be greedy. You take what it comes, you know? Yeah. She's a good lady, put up with me 36 years. You know that, <laughs> yeah. right? My God. But no, I'll tell you what, I'm really proud of your work and stuff. I appreciate you did a good it. job. What about your dad? Is, I want to come go hunt with him because he was a rat fan, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I told you I like to do that in the fall sometime, and I mean that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, when it's not like it is right now. Yeah, I like it. Last time, man, you know, know. boy, we were sweating. Right? It was very humid, about 90 degrees. It was, yeah, this October, November, just come yeah. on. Yeah. I'll, I'll get a hold of you and come up and go hunting. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd enjoy that, you know? I appreciate anybody that's ever hunted these dogs of mine, you know? Yeah. They're not all what it cracks. You know, every, hey, you only get out of something what you put in something, you know? Uh, like like anything in life, you know? But no, I'm I'm very proud to be here and where I'm at, you know? First thing I did was call my granddaughter last night, and she said, hey, Paul, make any errors? Nope. She said, well, I ain't like you. What's going on? I said, I come to win this. But this, the people that guided me, their dad, his father, come out to me, and he said, Kurt, if you want to win, you got to keep it in your mind. And he's won more stuff with horses and squirrel, world squirrel champions and stuff. And I really respect this man. He come out, shook my hand, <laughs> stayed in my mind all night. Then his boys here said, hey, Kurt, you got to stay calm. I said, man, don't tell me that. I'm going to go the other way. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but we did it. We had a good cast. I had Bruce Gillum, a couple other nice young boys. and. It was a real cast. Did we do some walking? Yeah, we did some walking. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah, you're thing. going you to. Know it. Yeah. Uh, the dogs I had was all good dogs. And uh, Whitey just caught a couple of breaks. You know what I mean? Went the right way. Yep. Uh, every night's a new night with these dogs. You know? It's kind of like my dad. I, he wasn't always proud of me every night. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a good guys. way to look at it. Yeah, you got to look at it that way, don't you? <laughs> yep. Well, they're keeping you busy, ain't they? Yeah. Staying busy. When you do quality, it follows you, Tony. Yeah. You still coaching football and everything? Yeah. That's why I'm just here today because we had a game last night. Yeah, this gentleman here, his son's playing today, and he's getting ready to go down there now. As a boy, don't miss this. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. And that family's where it's all at. I tell everybody and all these coon hunters, coon hunting's great, but don't forget that family. Very true. It's, it's teamwork from everybody. When you leave, your wife takes care of stuff, mine does. Well, we couldn't do this, you know what I'm right. saying? It's kind of kind of the way it is. Well, thank you for doing the interview. Well, yeah. I appreciate it. Very much. Nice. 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 You just want to tell us a little bit about your experience at Autumn Oak so far? Yeah, we had a very good time. Uh, I got a booth set up here, met a lot of great people, um, sold some stuff, and uh, had a good hunt last night. The coons weren't moving too good in our cast, but we ended up getting a cast win. We're still in the run for the Triple Crown. That's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, that was with Ann. JR ended up getting in the Grand 16 with Scar, so we still got a chance maybe. And, uh, we had a good hunt. Thank everybody for the support that stopped by and supported us, and good luck to everybody else hunting. Thank you. Thank you. Here with J.R. Gray. You just want to tell us a little bit about your experience here at Autumn Books this year? It's been a pretty nice experience. They've been a lot of people. I think there's the most uh, grand nights they've ever had hunted. I think it's over 250. Jeez. So, it's been good. A lot of people. What dog do you have? Scar. She's a three-year-old off of uh, Willie and uh, Amy. Okay. How did that go? Went pretty good. Uh, we cut loose the first spot. Uh, she treated a coon, another dog made a couple trees, and then the one of the other dogs in the cache treated another coon. Well, we uh, move spots, go to another, and uh, get them out there, turn them loose. She trees a coon for 225. 
Another dog covers me, and then one split. He's got a coon. We get them, up, get them back rounded up, so we score both of them, keep them on leash, cut back loose, strike opens. Uh, she strikes back in for a hunter, goes up there, dog makes a tree, he ain't got nothing, or nothing that we can find anyways, I should say. Uh, she's sitting over a split, she's got another coon. We got about 20 something minutes left, we move spots again, go cut them loose, and uh, she trees one more in there, probably about 0.7. <laughs> so, pretty good then. Yeah, yeah. She, She's looking at right, so hopefully she'll carry it over for tonight. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you for doing the interview. Appreciate you. Yeah. <laughs>